Hello manifestors. Let's get started. I will tell you a simple technique. Set your whole mind on what I have been telling you from night to night on the grace that is coming to you, which means that you are going to awake. When you awake, you own the world. You don't have a little cottage. The world is yours, for the world is God's, and you are God when you awake. The whole vast universe is the Lord's, and you are the Lord. You cannot separate the reality that is man from the creator of the universe. You are one. So, set your hope fully on that grace that is coming to you at the unveiling of Jesus Christ within you, for Jesus Christ is God awake. So, when he awakes, he awakes in you as you, not as another. Then the whole vast world is yours, and you see it through entirely different eyes. You see everything differently, a beauty that no one, looking only through mortal eyes, could ever conceive. So, when you go home, try to remember what I've told you, and when you read scripture, it's all about you. So, when you read, O Lord, thou art our father, we are the clay. Thou art our potter, we are the work of thy hands, remember these three are interchangeable terms, my imagination, the father, and the Lord, are interchangeable terms. And now I'll go down to the potter, for the potter, I've just discovered, is my own imagination. I will stand still and now, in my own imagination, what did I this day do? What did I imagine? And now if what I imagine this day is spoiled, is not what I want to make real in my world, don't discard it. Rework it into another vessel, as it seems good to you to do. You can't discard any one, just rework it into an entirely different vessel, as it seems good to you to do. And if one will not accept it, pass along. It's perfectly all right. Eventually they will awake, and when they awake, they are our brother. We are members of the divine body, all of us, and we share in that divine nature, the same creative power. And may I tell you? When you are clothed in that a garment which you gave up, wherever you go, it is perfect, automatically perfect. You don't have to raise a finger to make it so. It is perfect, because you are clothed in your glorified body. So, tonight you dwell upon what you really are, and don't turn to the left or the right. Don't burn incense to any false god. Commune with your own heart upon your bed, and then be silent. What would it be like if it were true? Can you answer that? If you can answer that, then what was said in that first epistle of John, the fifth chapter, the fifteenth verse? If we know that he hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have obtained the request made of him. What a promise! If we know he hears, well, don't I know what I've heard? Don't I know what I've just done? All right, that is the one spoken of. Well, can I really believe what I have just imagined? Can I? Well then, I must know, now, if I am putting my trust in this one, which is my own. Imagination, well then, I will know I have obtained it. It has already been done. Now wait for it. It's done. Like a shipment. I have complete confidence in a shipment coming if I have ordered it, so you order, and then you wait. It may come by slow freight, it may come by express, it may come by air freight, it'll come. The vision is maturing, and if it seems long, then wait, for it is sure, and it will not be late. Habakkuk 2 verse 3. Hello Super Manifestor, if you enjoy this type of content please consider subscribing, we always have free tools in the description box to help you with your manifesting needs. Thank you, until next time. Goodbye!